Hi guys, Carrie and Brown here, Carrie and Brown Music Promotion. Happy Labor Day to everybody out there. But I have a lot of stuff to talk to you guys about. So, yeah, how was everybody Labor Day weekend, holiday going so far? I hope it's okay, I hope it's safe. And I hope you guys are enjoying the Labor Day. Happy Labor Day to all the hard workers, them out there. Yeah, big up to all the Caribbean people that work hard overseas here to make a better life for your family. And talking about working hard, today's topic, guys, is about Vibes Cartel. Um, my topic is about how the ticket them sold out so quickly and fast. And also the fact that Vibes Cartel is right now in Panama making big moves, guys. He met with the mayor of Panama. He, the mayor had him drive in one of those new um, cyber trucks in Panama. He went shopping with his family. Um, his sons, two of his sons are with him in Panama. Um, the, the last son, who is very, very quiet and likes to play video game. So I was told or heard. And the next to last one, um, Little Vibes, I believe his name is. So those two of his sons are with him in Panama right now. Um, <clears throat> but guys, I'm going to just run through the first part of this video, which is the tickets them being sold out. So guys, everybody was anticipating to get the tickets for Vibes Cartel show, right? Yeah. So, according to down sound right they said that um the site crashed because of the overwhelming um demand for tickets but all of tier one's tickets for vibes cartel concert were sold out guys less than eight hours right less than eight hours after the website was officially released at 3 a.m jamaica time which is about 4 a.m. New York time. And I believe England is maybe five hours. So come on, you know, Jamaica get to buy the ticket them first. Right? So the website to get the tickets were was touchstonelink.com events um, slash freedom dash street. Right? So according to the, the website, all of the tickets were sold out within less than eight hours. So now the tickets were Freedom Street Center Stage, which is wait two two hundred and forty thousand. Um, Freedom Street Infield North, which is four hundred. Uh, Freedom Street Infield South which is $400 sold out all of them sold out sold out sold out sold out uh, Freedom Street Grandstand which is 300 US sold out Freedom Street Bleachers which is 125 US dollar sold out Wow within less than eight hours guys so down sound entertainment who's the promoter of the event issued a statement and i'm going to read it out to you it says due to the overwhelming high volume orders for vibes cartel freedom street concert tickets the website experienced a severe crash seconds after it went live at 3 a.m saturday morning technicians are working to resolve this issue and assured us this will be sorted in very in a very short time. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. What do you guys think about that? Hmm? All of the tickets them they were sold out. All of them Web, website crash. Anyway, so Vibes Cartel took to his Instagram page, guys, and he. Um, made two statements because you know he's in panama right now so he made two statements guys video statements and i'm going to share them with you so check out this video here
Baz and Yeshan. I'm sad to report and happy to report at the same time that all the tier one tickets have sold out online. I mean, in less than eight hours, that goes to show Gaza Nation great powers. But look out, tier two tickets coming online soon. Down, or and out. Do you know Gaza Nation? Just wake up on here to the side crashes, you mean? You know, Gaza Nation do that, you hear that? Mount a ticket where everybody want to buy one time, you know? Nah, I like still. Apologize to the delay. I have to thank you for the patience, you know? But yeah, man. We soon up and active again. No respect my people. No? Oh. I'm out. Yeah guys, so comment below what you what what are your thoughts of the down sound statement you just saw and also comment below guys in the comment section what you thought about the two vibes cartel video clips you just saw with him apologizing and announcing that yes um the site did crash and yes every ticket were was sold out but tier two tickets are coming so what do you guys think um comment below because i know some people are making fun so oh my god why the ticket them is so expensive why are the tickets them in us dollars right the same thing i wonder but then again the burner boy and the chris brown concert were all in us dollars and i don't know why that is when jamaica is not owned by um america and them have them own currency eh? so why is it in us dollars and people like me that live overseas yeah 125 that we can afford a 300 dollar yeah 400 dollar maybe but yeah um 250 000, no. right so comment below what you guys think they were making jokes about this the prices them um you know uh, a, a young lady even went and uh, made a GoFundMe account to raise money for Vibes Cartel concert. And guess who, guys, donated to her to her uh, WhatsApp fundraiser for Vibes Cartel? Joe, yeah, Mr. Joe Bartnanovich of yeah of uh, Down Sound Entertainment, the one that's keeping the event. December 31st, 2024 at 9 p.m. at National Stadium in Jamaica. He donated to the young lady $200, guys. Yes. So big up to Joe for that. And big up to the young lady for being so brave to go, you know, and make a what? Uh, um, not a WhatsApp. She went out and made a GoFundMe to, you know, to get donations for her ticket to go to Vibes Cartel event. Yeah, big up to share. Yes. But guys, so so Vibes Cartel is in Panama right now. He was in St. Vincent's um, for, before. He met the Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and the wife. They had dinner together. He looked at some properties there. Yeah, it was awesome. Right? So now he's in Panama, guys. And last night... You know, last night, uh, Sunday night, he made a special appearance at a club slash restaurant in Panama City called Santana. So check out this video clip of uh, Vibes Cartel at Santana being escorted by security. You know, he is a celebrity. And um, yes, he had an entourage with him and everything and he went into the place the place feels the place looks so lively and all these things yeah so 
listen big up to the people of panama that love reggae dancehall music they love jamaican music and culture so much and i have to tell you guys i visited panama a couple months back and the love they showed me when i told them that i was from jamaica very very awesome but check out this video guys of vibes cartel yes special appearance last night at santana in panama city panama <laughs> hi guys so what do you what did you think about the video guys what did you think about vibes cartel appearance at santana last night last night was sunday night so what do you guys think of the video guys i think it's nice the place look vibrant and and energetic you know what i'm saying now vibes cartel has been in panama for a few days now um he came there with his two sons and and his fiance to them he was seen shopping at various um various places for sneakers for clothes he went to the gucci store he went to the sneaker store the sneaker store he did big them up and sign a t-shirt with his autograph on there the other um business that he went to was the lady have has a, a makeup shop or makeup store he gave her a shout out as well and he's been in the street meeting all the fans them you know what i'm saying and it, it's just a good little vibe to see him you know he met the mayor of uh, panama city and the mayor you know took him to go and check out the site the cyber trucks yeah the cyber truck is very interesting it has a computer and to drive it you have to press something on the computer to make it drive you have to press something again on the computer to go put it into reverse i'm like wow look at technology guys talk about this keyless you don't need no key to drive the car so all these things are new to Vibes Cartel. Cause you know he was incarcerated for over um you know for almost 13 years. So I can just imagine his mind like wow. And he was pretty much speechless when the mayor was um you know telling him about how the car works. But enough of my talking guys. Check out this video with Vibes Cartel and the mayor of Panama. And also check out the the, um, the pictures of he and his son, the video clip of him at the sneaker shop, and you know, and also with him and the fans in Panama as well, because he's been out and about. So today is Monday, September second, guys, and he also he posted on his Instagram handle that he was going to. He's on his way to go and look at some properties and stuff in Panama. The same, the same thing that he did in uh, St. Vincent. He looked at properties. He looked at land over there with the mayor. But this time in Panama, he has his driver with him. And they're both going to go look at some land or properties in Panama as well. So the man is basically business-minded, guys. And I love that. And I just hope he, Vibes Cartel know that he is such a huge inspiration, such a huge motivation to people like me that, you know, because I have my music promotion company, my edible company, my clothing line and everything. And it's a, I'm telling you guys, it is a very huge, big inspiration for me to see all that Vibes Cartel is doing. To see all that he overcome this man was locked up for almost 13 years guys and now he's set free right he was locked down and he called it hell for so long away from his family away from his business but he was still making music but can you just imagine how he felt 
going into this into this cyber truck and see that it's a big computer screen wow his mind must be like wow because my mind is like wow you know what i mean but enough talking guys check out these video clips with vibes cartel shopping and shouting out some of the businesses um vibes cartel son yeah little vibes giving a shout out and meeting some of the panamanian fans and his younger son as well the clip with him the picture with him and his younger youngest uh, son and also with the fans because he's been interacting with so many people and some of the fans are most saying oh vibes Carter, you need to do a show in panama but hopefully that will happen guys after the december 31st show in jamaica i remember guys the um tier two tickets are coming i don't know how it's going to go but they need to have some type of backup website and another backup website for the other two websites yeah just in case you never know anyway guys check out these video clips and then uh i will be back to talk to you up to the time I'm representing for Marjorie Martello makeup studio in Colombia. No, oh, looking at me, I know the kiss you, baby. Acompáñame a entregarle estas zapatillas a Vibes Cartel. Up to the time when one of the best makers in Panama, we go to the kids who said that might start. Put the Bible, 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 put the no importa que estoy despelucada, pero yo voy a subir mi video a sí mismo. Vibes Cartel está en Panamá. Vibes Cartel está en Panamá. So, Vibes, if you see this, please, where you at? You need to do something with your fans. I want to hang out with you. Like, you need to do a little concert here. You're going to make money. We want to see you. We love you. Pero, chucha, tenemos que localizar Vibes Cartel, man. Yo necesito que sea una foto algo. Las manos, niño, las manos. Oh. You give me the love. Bless you, my me. It's all my tradition. When the sun down, don't and the love come down. Woman get a damn one for your phone. Remember you say you want me sugar plum plum. Remember you tell me you're not giving me one. Mm -hmm. No baby, everything and anything. The representing for Chef Kasim. You know his food is amazing. No. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Oh, 
Ay, por primera vez voy a estar de pasajero en el Cybertruck porque hoy tengo un conductor. Ay, bye, drive on. Oh, boy, I'm a man. You, you ready for drive of a Cybertruck? All right. Well, if you take this to Jamaica, a different level here. No, this is not Jamaica. I'm not on your left hand side. Your your seatbelt there. You used to driving on this side, yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah. En yeah, Jamaica yeah. se maneja de este lado. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking in this is about the, the side you put All right, so you press on the brake, right? Yeah, I'm on the brake. Um, and this, this is how you put drive. <laughs> Boom, you're in drive. That's it. Wow. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's yeah. it. And then reverse. Yeah. Pull it down. Boom. What's that? Interesting, eh? Yes, man. Inside right. business. All right. 150, papá, ya lo mismo, ya lo mismo, ya 150. What? Should I not pay in a parking and vibes cartel? But that cartel? Yes. Two bike. Put it by, put it by, put it by, put it by. Put it by. If you want this bag, man, you'll see. Hey, 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 as a nation, no, I'm just there and I met. I never have no political aspiration growing up. But I want to make more run for MP in the future. Just for show the people, them say, bro, in our life can better. Politician can do more. You know them here? Come here, meds it. You know how I made a watch on the, on the internet. I'm here, meds it. I'm here, say, bro, lad. You know them dear and age here. Jamaica people still a black road and a protest about basic things. Good road, light, electricity, and running water, holy for school, basic school, primary school, these not have running water, proper sewage system. Them things they are basic things when we should even be no problem. A modern time now in the twenty first century, them things they should have been a problem. Like sunny day. Panama today. Yeah, man. Rolling with my driver, doing. That's a. What do you mean? Fully up there. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm here, Sean. Just a chill out, you know? The bright sunny day in Panama. Panama City. You know what I mean? <laughs> nice seaside over there, sir. I think you can't see it still because you don't know guys are up on the beach. Active. Yeah, man. Where is the, where is the, the, the building them name doing? Costa del Este. Oh. That's that the top right now. That's a new like new rich area in Panama. Okay. We have a look for some 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 apartment in a Costa del Este. Uh, we are sure to the door. Wicked man thing. Oh, I didn't, I didn't pay the next thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. See the beach side there. Eh? I remember guys and I was. Yeah, man, I just think the guys are nation, man. Latin America, you know? Yeah. Uh, 